Welcome to episode number three of our 10 part series, taking you from novice to expert on ACDC Photo Ultimate Studio. In this episode, we're working in the database on manage mode. I I'd said earlier, database kind of scares me. I don't like to think of creative things as being like a database. I'm gonna show you how I use the database as a photographer and how it just kind of works for me in, intuitively. And that's what I, one of the things that I really love about ACDC. So I've got a bunch of photos. This is actually a folder of photos of our dogs that my daughter, Sophia, uh, took. You know what I'm gonna do is, now I can see all of these, right? I can see them all. I can, I can make them bigger here and I can make them smaller, but they're never quite big enough for me to make critical decisions. So we can change our view on this. So I'm going to go to view and instead of thumbnails, which these are, I'm going to change this over to a film strip. And then I'm going to move our film strip size down, which will allow our main photo to be a lot bigger. And now I can make critical decisions. I like using this little guy down here. I'm gonna turn it on, auto advance. Auto advance is selected. Now, I kind of love this photo of Arlo. Uh, I love it so much, I'm giving it a five. I'm gonna probably take, do lots of fives. Uh, you will find, I, I just hit the number five over here. Uh, use the keypad for numbers. Uh, not as strong, I'll give it a three. Uh, super funny, five. Um, oh, five. Oh man, I love Arlo. Uh, Let's give Arlo a five. Let's go three for that. We're gonna zip through three. Uh, there's Nala, pretty solid, number four. Super funny, crazy eye, five for that. Um, all three zipping through, here we go. So I have just numbered a bunch of photos of the dogs. That's one of the ways that we can find and sort out our dogs later on. You'll also find over on the right hand side that in our AI keywords that it has got animal, mammal, and dog. The AI knew it was a dog. So these have all be already been labeled as dog, which is great. Now I myself might want to have a look at the metadata. And if I want to make a change to the metadata, I could put information into, okay, let's go. I'm just gonna have to talk some technical for a second. IPTC is where all the software programs look for metadata, basically words embedded into photographs. Google will do this. Um, Adobe products will do this. When you're sharing photos on the internet and people need to find them, this is the place to put this. We also have ACDC metadata where we can put information in. If I take this picture of Arlo here and, and down here in my keywords, you'll see that it says dog and doodle. Apparently at some point I put in dog and doodle in the keywords. If I believed that sometime in the future, somebody might have to search this photo, I, I don't know, on some other website or in some other piece of software, it'd be a good idea for me to put dog and doodle up in the, descri the description in IPTC because people would find it. So I could copy dog and doodle and paste it up in the description. Now, not only that, all of those are dog and doodle. We could put that in all of those. So now all of those images have dog and doodle. Uh, Abby over here is also a dog and doodle. There we go. And now all of the picture, all of those pictures have been embedded with dog and doodle. Another way I can find things. We're gonna we're gonna find some stuff in a minute. One of the final ways that I sometimes group things is by color. And if Let's say I needed to put together a group of fun dog pictures that I wanted to find at a later date. Okay, there's a goofy one. Let's go ahead and we'll right click on that one and set label to purple. And I think it was that one. That's pretty funny. We will set label to purple. That's also a five star. 
And then this one of Abby. Abby doesn't seem to be quite as funny. Oh, not bad, not bad, Abby. There we go. And we'll, oops, we'll set that to a color label of purple and a five, oops, a five. If in the future I was in media mode and I was on five stars and clicked purple because I just wanted to show some people and I couldn't remember where I put them or I've got a collection of funny pictures. Maybe five and purple is my collection of funny pictures. There's a way that it can scour, it just scoured through a million photos to find fives and purples. Go back to manage. I could also take all of these and under categories, we could create a category of animals. Boom. When I search through categories in animals, these guys are going to show up. So that's how you might use a database to be able to find things uh, years down the road. And this, this process will set you up for success. Now it's a little tedious when you're doing this for the first time, but if you're strategic in the way that you might use the photos or have to find them later, and especially like, like most of us ha have come up with some kind of folder mechanism, if we go through and so like say that here's a thing of headshots that I've done. Oh, they're, they're actually they're headshots of me, Alec headshots, uh, spe <laughs> specifically headshots of me. I could, because I, I always worked in folders, I can go through and I can name all of those. I could put them in a category of headshots, name them all Alec. I would be able to find them. Uh, Brentwood Bay. So even if you're not doing this for the first time, like, most people who adopt a new piece of software, they have a whole bunch of backtracking to do. Most of us have worked with files and folders. It's absolutely worth going into your folders and looking at your folder structure, and you probably already named it in some way that makes sense. So these ones are called, uh, in, they're in a sexy hair folder. If I, and I, we already put that in as a keyword, but yeah, absolutely, adding that as a keyword. Um, this would be a category I could use as campaigns and just applying to all, you're going to be able to find that in the future. Manage is a super, super powerful way to organize your database, move things around, copy, tag things, add keywords. This is where you want to do it. And if you're careful with importing and absolutely make backups of this, you're going to be able to use this in ways in the future that we haven't even thought of yet as the AI develops and it can see more things in our photos. I highly, highly recommend spending some positive time in manage mode.